Welcome to my channel. As I work my way down the request list, I'm coming across some interesting stuff. And the song I'm going to react to now is Lana Del Rey singing Young and Beautiful. But before I get to that, I have to thank every single one of you that comes to my channel. Subscribed or not makes no difference to me. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that you're here. I'm thankful that you're watching me. And I really, really appreciate the community that's building around my channel. All the wonderful people from all over the world that are coming here to watch my videos, to drink coffee with me in the mornings. I mean, that's... Do you have any idea how humbling that is? How, how much of a blessing it is to hear that? It's incredible. It's really incredible. So thank you. And... With every single video that I do, every reaction video that I do, I feature the artist's links in my description. So if you'll go to the description on my video and click on more to expand it, you'll see all those links. And what I ask you to do as a viewer is to go to the singer's channel and click on their YouTube channel subscription. Subscribe to their YouTube channel and follow them on social media. You don't have to, you don't have to watch their videos. You don't have to follow, you don't have to read what they post on social media. Just the fact that you follow them helps them and it helps them to make money and that's what they need. So do that for them, okay? I don't monetize my channel. I don't care about money. I don't need money. And I, I don't need you to follow me. I don't need you to subscribe to me, but you do. And I'm thankful for it. Okay? So do that, please. Support these artists because they can use your support. It helps them. So this is Lana Del Rey singing Young and Beautiful. If it was Young and the Restless.
Well, that's an interesting song. Oh, looks. Just a second here. Okay. Well, that was an interesting song. Um, I think that's a thing that a lot of people worry about is whether someone's still going to love them when they're old and wrinkled. <laughs> um, I've said this often in my life, and, and it's true. Love is not infatuation, and love is not physical attraction. Love is action. It's a verb. If you love someone, you'll do things for them. And I tell this to my wife all the time. It doesn't matter if I feel like it. If I love you, I'm going to do it. Period. That's what love is. Love is action. Love is doing. Love is doing for others. That's what love is. It's not a feeling. It's not, uh, you know, all that stuff you feel when you're young and you're in love, quote, quote, for the first time. And you're all, you know, the endorphins are running wild. And you're just feeling crazy on the inside. You can't explain it, but there it is. But that's not love. That's infatuation. Love is when you make a conscious decision that you are going to spend the rest of your life with someone and you're going to do for them whatever they need done. And you better make that decision because there's going to come a day when either you or your loved one is going to need your help just to get around. They're not going to be physically able to do things on their own anymore and you're going to have to do for them and that's what love is is you doing that for them regardless of how you feel about it you know there are times when uh, my wife asks me to do things and it irritates me but I do them anyway because that's what love is you got to get past the me you got to get past me what I want okay and so it, it's, a, it's a conscious decision of the will. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do it regardless of how I feel, regardless of what I think, regardless of whether I'm happy or sad or angry or glad or whatever. I'm going to do it because I love this person. And so... You know, her singing, will you still love me when I'm no longer beautiful? Well, you know, if you really love someone, <clears throat> they're beautiful to you no matter what they look like. Because you don't love the outside, you love the inside. You love who they are, not what they look like. Not what body shape they have. Not what, you know, what lipstick they're wearing. Not what eyeshadow they have on. You love the person. And if you're going to have a love that lasts a lifetime, it's going to have to be because you made a conscious decision that you're going to love this person for the rest of your life and that you're going to do for this person for the rest of your life, regardless of the circumstances. That's true love. That's what love really is. God so loved the world that he allowed his only son to be put to death on a cross the most miserable way you could possibly imagine to die or one of the most miserable if you're not familiar with crucifixion read up on it it's horrible it's absolutely horrible it's a horrible way to die and God did that because he loved That's what love really is. Love is action. And because I love you, I take the action to pray for you every single time I talk to you. 
every single time you watch me. I pray for you. I pray that you will have an abundant life, that you'll live a long time, that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray he'll do that for every single person that you love. Because the people you love matter to you, and so they matter to me. And I pray most of all that you'll be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding, <coughs> excuse me, the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.